hello everyone so in the last video we have discussed how python is communicating with mysql database and what is the library we needed to establish a connection and what are the things which we needed to communicate or fetch the data or do CRUD operation okay so in this chapter we are going to do a similar thing but the database is different okay so we are going to use Oracle database okay let me create yeah, another script uh, working or simply connect Oracle DB dot by okay so in our last chapter we discussed how to create a connection and how to use the connection to make a database calls and finally we discussed about organize your code so we have an idea how to organize a code so we are going to apply in this particular chapter okay I'm going to create a function to return the connection okay before that what are the things which we needed okay first thing Oracle database and second Python libraries and so what else uh, DB details okay so in this video I'm not going to uh, show you how to um, install Oracle database into your machine okay that will take some time so if you really need how to um, set up an Oracle database please do let me know I have another uh, URL or another uh, blog which will tell you how to uh, install the Oracle database okay so as part of this video in our um, my SQL database connectivity program we used something called py mysql library to communicate to the mysql database here we are going to use cx underscore oracle so this is the library which we are going to use it so this is specifically for communicating to the oracle database and cx underscore oracle it's in a module okay so what we are going to do is we are going to download the client because if you want to run um, Oracle a database connectivity to Python you need to have the um, Oracle client deployed in your machine and it's it's just a, a zip package you need to download from the internet or else after this video I will add that um, the zip folder into the resources folder you can download from there but let me tell you how to uh, download the data I mean um, the Oracle client so what you can do is go to your browser and type Oracle Insta client for Windows So it will take you to the um, Oracle official website and here you can choose any kind of package okay so see you have a zip folder you can download this client zip file and extract it okay I already downloaded this particular uh, package so what I did is I have it in my e-drive see in my e-drive I have a folder called python oracle insta client and this is a zip folder which I downloaded and this is the extractor package so we need to provide this path into system environmental variable okay or else it doesn't know where the client is deployed okay so what you need is just copy this path and go to your system settings and advanced system settings and environment variable and add that into your path see I already added here see, e python oracle insta client folder and instant client underscore 12 underscore 1 there is a folder okay click ok 
so I have the Insta client set up in my um, system so let's start okay so I do know my Oracle database information and uh, my Python libraries which is nothing but CX underscore Oracle and the database details and CX Oracle is a module okay so CX model uh, that enables access to the Oracle database and conforms to the Python database API specification okay and here also you need to use the cursor okay cursor um, to be uh, in a specific way if you want to mention what is cursor cursor is an iterator it will iterate through all the result set all subsequent items okay okay let me open the database I already open SQL developer and this is my database Go to properties and my connection name is guide me as I said in the last video here my username is guide me and pass a password it's user defined you can give it whatever you want and this information we need to provide in the Python script okay so the database is already connected we need to create a table called persons okay so let's see whether the table is existing select star from persons okay we already have a database called persons if you or else what you can do is uh, you can drop and you can recreate it uh, anyway I will I will share the database script and uh, this is the script to create the person table okay I will share those in, into the resource section okay so I know my table name person because this is the table which are going to communicate through our Python script and the database also okay as a first step what we are going to do is the first thing is getting the connection okay let's go to the script so this is a new module so which we are going to work with Oracle so we need to import the appropriate module as I said earlier it's CX underscore Oracle and the first thing first connections I need to write a function to get the connections get connection so here it is similar to our uh, previous MySQL database connection you need to create a variable instead of py MySQL we are going to use CX module CX Oracle dot connect and there here you need to provide all the details about the database so my database username is guide me and password also guide me at it's installed and deployed in localhost and my port number default port number is 1521 for the Oracle databases and XE connection okay this is my connection and I need to return the connection done okay this is how we need to get the connection to the database okay so in the next video what we are going to do is we are actually we are going to do the CRUD operation select the data insert the data update the data we'll go in a sequence okay let's do that in the next video we'll um, see each other in the next video thank you